hi everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in today if you are new here my name is Mide Nancy and welcome to my channel so this is the part three of sorry part three of like the series of videos that I have ongoing um, talking about like study in France so if you haven't watched the previous two videos I would encourage you to go back to watch those videos I'm going to link them up here up here somewhere and it would also be in the description they would also be in the description box anyways in this video I'm going, I'm going to be talking about how to find like scholarship in France because I mean many people want to study in France whether programs taught in English or in French and they always wonder how they could find scholarship in France. Unlike many other countries, for France, it's kind of different. So for France, you need to like secure an admission first before you apply for the scholarship program. So, I mean, there are some countries or some programs that for the scholarship, you make the same application for the scholarship and for like the admission. So, so for France, it's very different and also there are some countries where you have to like make a separate application for scholarship alongside your application for your masters and but for france you need to have applied to the university and you need to have gotten a positive feedback from one of those universities you apply to and then you can proceed to applying or searching for scholarship so i'm just gonna show us uh, my screen as usual and um try to like and try to put you through how to find scholarship and um, every good stuff so let's jump right into the video so guys I believe you can see me so now I'm sharing my screen and uh, first thing I'm going to do as usual is to show you these links. I'm going to put all these links in the description box and I hope I remember to put it in the comment section just in case um, you don't find it. And you can also reach out to me on social media. So I send you the link. So basically um, to find your scholarship, there are several types of scholarships that like that I have in this on like in my links that I saved. So uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is Campus France Scholarship. So Campus France, which, which is the site where you look for your programs and apply eventually, they actually offer like certain scholarships. So I click on the first link and you can see the scholarships that um, Campus France has for the year is about 454 programs, like 454 scholarships for 454 programs. So one thing you can do is to apply to your, okay, I'm going to explain this way. It's possible for you to apply for programs like seven and there are no scholarships for them. Maybe not like there are no scholarships, maybe one or two. But there's also something you can do. You can come to this list of scholarships available and apply to those programs that you know that there are scholarships available for. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense even to you guys. But OK, let's look at this. Uh, I think this is a little bit too ambiguous, like it's a lot. So let us first uh, filter it. So type of bourse, uh, bourse, bourse d'études, bourse de recherche, bourse de stage. So we are choosing bourse d'études in a situation like scholarship, uh, study scholarship, then research scholarship, uh, internship scholarship, and a travel scholarship. So let's choose that one. Niveau d'études. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys can hear like the old noise from outside. Niveau d'études master. If you if your situation is bachelor's degree, choose licence, and if you are in the doctoral position, choose doctorat or postdoctorat. So I chose a uh, master. Domaine d'études. I'm going to leave the domain like the field so that I can have like lots of options. Nationality. So you can choose your nationality if you're African, if you're American, if you're Asian, European, or Say and me. Uh, I don't even know what that means, but I, I think I, it just skips my mind. But uh, let's say I put um, right now without putting any um, nationality to it, you can see 294 programs out of 454 programs that are for like uh, masters and it is um, like for studies. 
uh, bourses financier par I don't care where the scholarship is coming from, basically. So you can leave this part. But if you want the scholarship to be from the French government, um, from the French government, from the um, from the foreign government, like government of your own country, you know, Union, European Union, choose that or universities itself. So for now, we leave that. And uh, now looking at the um, bourse, uh, the études, like the scholarships that are for study, you can see this programme du Gartier. I'm sorry, it's in, in, it's in French because like those that are not French, let me see if there's a way that I could. Okay, there's an option of changing to English, I guess. I don't know if it works, but let's click on it. Mm, okay, okay, it's in English. So maybe this is better. Um, scholarship to study abroad from the public fund of, I can see the Slovenian flag. So basically this one doesn't correspond with, with like me. So if it corresponds to you, you can open it and I can see disability pension and allowances. Bienvenue en France scholarship. Uh, French courses are being offered in each of academic programs. Okay, so this scholarship is only for you to, okay, even before the arrival in Rennes. So Rennes is a region in France. So you can open it, type of grant study, uh, subject area like communication, environment management, you know, program description up, uh, open to applicants accepted into one of our programs. So as I said earlier in the video, basically you need to like be, you, you must have been accepted into the program before you can apply for like scholarship in France. So if you got rejections from all the schools, just, you know, prepare for a tougher application for the next year. So applicants are accepted into one of our programs and Okay, ap applicants accepted into one of our programs and that have taken French courses at the Alliance Française or at any other affiliated language. So this is what this um, um, this particular um, scholarship is about. Uh, candidates will have to submit to Rennes School of Business a certificate of completion from the teaching institution, blah, 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 nationality, all subject area and level, there's bachelor scholarship, master scholarship, application process, apply before June 15, 2022. That's for this current year that we are going into. So for next year now, you should know it's, you need to apply for this scholarship around this, like before the deadline. So uh, if you want to know, like contact, you can contact the school, that's another thing. If there are more lenient here, you can, like you know look for the contact of the school and contact them and tell them that you are going to apply you are going to be applying for their program and you will be interested in actually getting a scholarship so that also puts you you know you construct a good formal uh, message not just anything shabby so if you get a response that's good i mean most of them will respond uh so that we don't just waste our time looking at everything now i'm going to choose nationality so because i feel like most of my viewers are africans so i click on africa and then you can see like different countries so you can click on your own country and see the scholarships that are available for you so i clicked on africa and uh it's still the same so i'm going to click on let me click on nigeria because i'm nigerian so I clicked on Nigeria and I can see 138 like scholarship grants that are available for Nigerians for grabs. So 100% excellent scholarship, MBA, EMLV business school. So like I said earlier, knowing that this particular business school offers scholarship, you can position yourself to actually apply for this program when, it's, when the application opens by October. So I don't know if you're interested in like business or business school or something like that. You can apply for programs that you know that they offer scholarships so that, because imagine you apply for um, master's in uh, aeronautic engineering in University of, University of Dijon, and then you come to apply for MBA uh, EMLV business school scholarship. It doesn't work that way. So you must have applied to that program they must have chosen you, then you apply for scholarship. So there are several programs that would not have scholarship opportunities. So you can also position, that's why I'm making this video well in advance so that you know that, okay, this exists. Like after application, 
and you already saw on your portal, I'm still going to show you how to apply, but I want to tell you things like this in advance. So after application and you already saw on your portal that you've been selected to maybe one or two schools and you already knew, you already know the school that you want, you can look for uh, scholarships for that school or contact like your school that uh, you've been chosen and you like to ask if there's like an um, scholarship opportunity. So don't be afraid to send messages like random code mails, just send them to your school uh, professor or like your program advisor or something like that if your school does not happen to be on this list. So you can see 100% excellent scholarship, MSc International Business. Okay, that's still the same school. So um, MSc Digital Business. Okay, the same business school. Oh, this school gives a lot of scholarship. Okay, Prudential Excellent Scholarship based on test score, blah, blah, blah. You know, basically this is one way of finding scholarships. Just open the scholarship, Montpellier Business School. So you can apply for like, programs in business in Montpellier because you already know that Montpellier Business School like has like an opportunity for like scholarships. So basically um, just that way you can filter your search according to your country, according to your program. So, so you don't just have business school, business school, business school. Okay, let's, make, let's try to choose a subject area. So I'm going to choose engineering. So you can see this masters in engineering uh blah 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 engineering school so basically you can uh, you can check look out check that out uh emily booty Bo Bo emily Bootsme scholarship science po. this is a very like common scholarship in france and lots of people get it so and right now i only put the filter to nigerians so nigerians are eligible as long as you already secured an admission with that school. Basically, when you, when you apply in October, you should get like positive, negative responses, no matter like whatever responses, you should start getting them by um, February, March. So immediately you get your response and you know that, okay, this is what's going to happen. Then you can channel your energy into applying for scholarship or sending mails to different like, professors uh, lecturers not like you just send mails to everybody and disturb their peace they could even like who is this person that is coming you know just maybe if you send one and they don't reply you know that okay maybe there's nothing <laughs> so not like you should send messages every day so you have not replied me because i know that <laughs> nigerians can be very vigorous i don't know about other schools but i don't know about other countries but i know that when looking for scholarship we can be very, very vigorous. And it's not a bad thing. It's just because you, I know you want it. Um, there was another scholarship I wanted to show you, IFL scholarship. It's also, yeah, IFL scholarship program. It's also one of the most, uh, you know, popular scholarships in France. The IFL Excellence Scholarship Program was established by the French Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs to enable French higher education institutions to attract top foreign students to enroll in their master's and PhD programs. So basically, see the subject area, agronomy, blah, blah, blah. So humanities, social sciences, the IFL scholarship was established. You know, this is a bit of history and uh, consists of a monthly allowance of for masters of 1,181 euros per month. I get such a scholarship. I'm not going to look for work. Like, I'm okay. Like, 1,181 is okay for you, like, to sustain yourself, like, every month and still have, like, savings. So it's a lot of money. In addition, the following benefits are provided. International air travel, train travel within France, local transport, health insurance, and, you know, other things then for doctor doctorate uh, uh component like if you're applying for like a doctoral degree doctorate degree uh monthly allowance is 1007 it provides the following direct benefits you know you can read about it a maximum the scholarship is awarded for a maximum of 12 months for awardees entering for the second year of master's program like m2 maximum of 24 months for um, M1 students, so you get it for the two years of your program. Every month, you're getting 1,000. So 
24 months, that's 24,000 Naira. Like you have lots of savings. And uh, 36 months for our this entering and engineering program. Engineering program in France is like really a big deal. So if you get Eiffel scholarship for engineering program, you get like, you get some good things. So age, there's an age distance for masters. You must be 25 or under at the time of 2022 competition. So for 2023, it might be 25 too. And for doctorate, that's 30. I know you say it's not fair because I mean, how many people are 25? Um, like if you're coming from your country, especially when you already have a master's degree in your country and you want to do another one. But unfortunately, that's how it is. All nationalities are eligible. And um, French history, civilization, law and political sciences, math and digital level, masters and PhD. So for this one, bachelor, bachelor's degree, there's no like opportunity for you to apply for the IFO scholarship. Application process, you may contact the international relations department of the university or school through their website. You know, like I said earlier, you contact your school and let them know. So contact them to know the deadline of the submission of, of applications. You may contact the French embassy or Campus France office of your own country. So for us in Nigeria, we have Campus France Nigeria, and we also have French embassy in Nigeria. So you can contact them to let them know like when is the deadline. You have to choose by yourself if um, the French institution according to your project of study. So Second step, your French university has decided to support your application to the IFO scholarship. They will send you the application form and help you. So it's the school that sends you the form and they will help you. So basically, um, that's how it works. And you apply before January. So it's more like, yeah, I, I, for this one, I think maybe you might not get your response from the schools that you've applied to. Um, first like you might not get your response before applying because if the deadline is january i don't think you are getting any responses before like january to the schools you apply to so just go ahead after application before the deadline of the ifo scholarship contact campus France of your country contact the french embassy you can contact like all like the you know the the uh the mentioned international relations department like the contact international students um um, like contact uh, person or, res or person in charge of international student for your programs, all the ones you apply to, contact them that you're interested in applying for the IFO scholarship that could they help you with the form and tell you like more about it. Hopefully one nice person is gonna reply, hopefully, and then that will help you. So uh, I'm sorry, it's raining. I don't know if it's affecting the audio of this video or not, but I really don't want to stop this video because I have an appointment in the next couple of minutes. So let's just keep going. So we already completed um, IFO scholarship. Please don't joke with it. It's one of the, like, the surest ways of getting scholarship in France, aside um, the camp like Campus France scholarship. And also when you get scholarship in France, a good thing is that you get accommodation in the school. You if your if your scholarship doesn't cover accommodation you pay though but you pay like half because you're going to be getting calf Whew, calf is another thing entirely i'm going to do that in another video calf is like it's called caisse d'allocation familiale and it's like um helping students with like their house rent every month so if you get accommodation in your school you only pay like half or quarter of your rent because calf is going to automatically pay others so for non-scholarship non -scholarship students, it's difficult, but if you have a scholarship, you are just going to be having fun. So basically, this is all for this link. Let's check out other links that I have prepared for this video. So let's look at this one. And all these links, I got them on Google and from researching, basically. So don't underestimate the power of research, like I always say. So I heard about food, like total a uh, scholarship like total is um is a uh, is an oil complaint oil company or total nnpc that they have like scholarships fully funded scholarships they do there are some nigerians that got like that scholarship and i think some Ghanaians. i'm not sure about like some other countries but i'm very sure of nigerians and kenyan uh, uh, and Ghana, uh, Ghanaians that got like uh, nnpc scholarship uh 
this is not it. Okay, yeah, this is it. Uh, um, eligibility criteria must be Nigerian, must hold a university degree, minimum second class upper, must have completed the mandatory NYC program. Interested applicants should apply at the total career website. Okay, this was me just trying to find because I, I didn't apply for this scholarship because I didn't complete my NYC. So if I had completed it, I would have like stood a chance of applying for this scholarship because it covers your flights, your visa, everything, everything basically. And then what's your, what's your CV should contain? Your CV must, you know, these are just links. I'm going to put it in the description box and apply by 17 March. So please, from this, from the moment where you've made up your mind that you want to study in France and you really want a scholarship, all these things, I wouldn't, I cannot help you to apply. You, I'm giving you the necessary information. So you have to go online and go and search, you know, follow up these stages, follow them up, send messages. Don't be tired until you get a breakthrough. Like, what do I mean by breakthrough? Like until something comes through. So don't be tired of like sending messages and not getting responses. I can't tell you the amount of messages I've sent in my life that no, they read it and they didn't reply me for several things that I wanted to have. So you are the one that needs something. So never be frustrated that, oh, they are not even replying. Send as many messages as possible. So I'm going to check this other one. Maybe basically because my research was like focused on Nigerians. I'm sorry, but I'm Nigerian and that's how it works. So you can now channel that energy and like change it to your own country, this thing. But I'm going to send these links anyways. So this is the total international master's degree scholarship that I told you about. So the, I just found this article online about it. Over 100 scholars selected annually among iFlyer candidates from universities around the world, 10 scholars selected annually among. So from Nigeria, like they only choose 10 people. Okay. So total in collaboration with the French embassy sponsored these 10 scholars to obtain MSc degree in France. So key areas, engineering, geosciences, management sciences. So if you fall within this, you know, don't underestimate the power of scholarship of this total scholarship proof. So value, blah, 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 blah. Just read um, about it and the uh, partnership processes. So this is like the application process and this is not for this current year because you can see apply by april 22 i just found this online uh based on the testimonies of those who got search and i never had the opportunity so i felt i should bring it out here and you guys can you know know that these things are actually very possible like you could get a scholarship so i'm going to go to the next link i have i think it's still talking about total uh, yeah so i think i'm just gonna skip that and go to the next one and let's see if it's different. I just saved these links because I knew I was going to use them in this video. Uh, this is the N NPC or Total International. Okay, it's still the same. I think it was like really everywhere, like everywhere people were applying and so many people got lucky. I think for Nigerians, we'd be called for interview like uh, to Abuja, which is the capital of Nigeria or something. So I think they had an interview or maybe they had an exam. And so from the exam, they were able to like um, choose those who they wanted. So this one, uh, I, I think I just saw this link also for scholarship and um, yeah, Campus France scholarship programs for international students. So PhD, masters, partial funding. So this one is not like full, fully funded. So you can click on learn more. Let's check it out actually, um, all these sites uh let's see what it, con it entails living france is aware of difficulty the international okay that's a story for another day basically these are the benefits of scholarship 1000 naira for the st study stay in france reservation fee of blah 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 basically and the eligibility um eligible nationalities so you can see and find your country if your country is eligible and um, no age limits for this one, which is really cool because I mean, putting age limit to it is like very restrictive. So uh, level and uh, you know, application procedure. And as that's for last year, the deadline was uh, 
June 30th, 2022. For this year, online application, uh, 2022, 2023, I think, okay, that's this like current academic, um, academic section that's gonna take them, that already started, basically. So, um, if, okay, you can just read this article, basically, to, for you to understand. I don't want this video to be extremely long because I really don't have time to edit anymore. So, that's also like very interesting and no age limits. Your country, I can see like so many countries. I spotted Nigeria, I spotted several countries. So please, I'm going to leave this link there. Check it out. And I hope that you'll be able to secure your scholarship by doing that. So from the filters, I already put Nigeria because I was searching for Nigerians, but you can change it to your own country. Okay. I'm looking for select a degree. I'm sorry, I'm putting masters again and countries, I put France. So field of interest, you can leave that open if you are someone that you don't really know what you want to do, but you just want to travel or you just want to like study something to get inspiration. So uh, countries interested, France. So you can also check out the scholarships, Brian John School Scholarship 2022. Um, you know, these are like private scholarships that I have not heard of personally, but I thought it might be interesting for someone. So basically, I'll also leave this article in the description box. So these are ways that you can find like your scholarship programs in France. I hope after watching this video, you will actually take it serious and you start um, uh, just one moment. Uh, yeah. I hope you start uh, searching for your scholarship programs and everything. So the um, benefit of securing scholarship uh, to study in France is the fact that you get to like live a kind of chilled life because without scholarship, you're like working three, two jobs. It's very doable, like very doable. And um, don't be scared if you don't get scholarship. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, uh, it's just gonna be chilled, like kind of uh, chilled life. Um, in my next videos, I'm going to also let you guys know, um, I've not forgotten about the motivation letter video. I'm actually preparing it. So I'm going to make that video as soon as I can. Uh, I hope you're already gathering your documents for application, whether it's for program starts in English or for program starts entirely in French. Also, I'm going to be doing a video telling you about like the cost of living in France as an international student without scholarship. So without scholarship, how do you survive types of jobs you can get and where to find these jobs, how to apply and so many other good things. And uh, so basically that that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know if this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you have questions in the comment section. I'm going to, you know, rally around like uh, people that I know have to answers to certain questions that I don't have answers to and reply you. If you look at my channel, you see I reply every comment, every comment, as long as the comment is not insulting, I reply every comment. It was nice filming this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.